be replacing a dynamic handle cord today. So the first step is to remove the handle cord from the drive hook and foot carriage. So the first thing we do is take the handle out of the handle hooks and then we take the handle cord that's come up out of the back of the shuttle rail out and run it outside of the rail. We bring the foot carriage all the way up to the front and you'll see there's a wider gap in the front of the rail and then you can just unhook the cord from the hook on the foot carriage. Get that foot back. And then we'll pull the cord through the shuttle pulley. So we're pulling the loop down through the two pulleys. And we'll let the shuttle pulley go back. And then we just pull the handle and the cord all the way through the pulleys. Now we need to remove the handle cord from the handle. So we need a 7 16 wrench and you unscrew the two nuts on the U-bolt. Remove the U-bolt from the handle. Take the U-bolt out of the barrel. And then we take the new cord and first remove the twist tie that keeps the loop in place and then pass the U-bolt through the green sleeve that's inside of the knot and up through. You want to make sure that you're passing it through the green sleeve and not just through the plastic. It needs to pass through the sleeve. Then you'll put the U-bolt back into the handle, reinstall the nuts, Now, you'll thread the handle into the top pulley of the front legs and then down the front and then under the bottom pulley and up inside the rail. And you pull the cord through set the handle on the rail and then you need to thread the drive cord through the bottom side of the shuttle pulley so we'll remove the shuttle pulley from the rail up into the bottom through. You can let that go back inside and then you'll take the looped end and pull it forward all the way to the front of the machine where we loop it onto the drive hook on the foot carriage. Handle hooks. 